Whoa! Feels good to not be making a video at 1 and 2 in the morning. Uh, another surprise Pixelmon episode. And I took a break from the whole gym fiasco. Uh, you know, because I accidentally died. And I was, you know, doing a bit to make my team stronger. And I, um, spent a while, uh, doing headbutt on trees with Aeron. Looking for this. So this is a tart apple. And I assume I got really lucky. I'm sure there's a whole lot of stuff you can get from it. But I got it in like 30 tries. I run into a lot of Pokemon. And I also got like some root thing. I think it's an energy root. But um, anyways though. I can take Applin out of the box. And then do I like use it on him? Or do I need to, is it like a held item? And I need to level him up while he has it? No, okay. I think I have to like right click him then. Yes! Oh, I can't see it. Oh, there we go. What? Applin is evolving into... Oh... We've got a Flapple and dang it's tiny. But yes, here we have Flapple and now he won't be... So garbage and useless. Wait, does he have any? Okay. Here, can I fly on a Flapple? Okay. I'm glad I can. So Flapple. Um, now he can actually start learning some moves. So as of right now, he just has Astonish, which isn't a horrible move. Withdraw, which is garbage. And Wing Attack, which is actually going to be a really strong move. We don't have Stab on it, but it will be... Really nice to have. Now, sadly, though, Flapple is going to be quad weak to ice types. So he's not really going to be a help for the gym. I just wanted to get uh, one of our Pokemon evolved. So he wouldn't be useless in the future. And I can put the Soothe Bell away now that I have... Okay, okay so... um, What else was I going to do? Okay, so let's switch him out for Solosis. Um, I mean, it's kind of sad to put him right back in the box after evolving him, but I think this is the best team that we can do to take on the ice-type gym. Yeah. Because, like, Helioptile can do some water-type stuff. Um, Charmeleon can do fire-type for stuff, as long as he doesn't use spheels. So, like, after we take out his Dynamax spheel, we'll use Charmeleon, and he'll be pretty effective. Gastly is just really powerful in general with all his status moves. Combi is, um, I have, is gonna be garbage too, but Combi might evolve if I can set it up right, so that would be a cool thing to happen. And, like, now that I've said it, it's not gonna be a cool thing, but, you know. Uh, Solosis is just really powerful in general, and he has good stab moves. And Aeron, um, I mean, it's gonna be better than quad effective or level 14. Um, even though he's our weakest Pokemon that isn't Totodile right now. Um, anyways. Let's... I'm gonna pause the video, and I'm gonna... <sighs> go all the way back to the Ice Gym. <sighs> Ooh, boy. Another thousands of blocks trip. And I am back at the, uh, gym. So, let's go attempt to fight it again. Uh, so, hmm. So, obviously, I'm going to lead with Helioptile. Hopefully, it doesn't break this time. If it does, I don't know if it does. Here, well, I can, first of all, I can pick up my old stuff. Okay. Nice. Here, uh, don't need that. Okay, perfect. Oh, gosh, it really is laggy in here. Here, well, hopefully his spiel doesn't break. And I'll take a look. Um. Okay. Yep, okay. Whoosh. Jump. 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 There he is. There's a spiel. Thundershock. 
Oh, he sent out Smoochum. Oh, that's so big. That might mean it won't break then. Okay, that also means that I kind of want to not send in Charmeleon yet. So, ooh. He's Dynamaxing Smoochum instead. Okay, so I think I'm going to have to... Ooh, it's Psychic Ice. Um, It was Psychic Terrain, so actually, hold on. Uh, is Psychic weak to Psychic? I forget. I feel like it's one of those types that would be like that. Psychic is weak to- also Psychic, yeah. So I might be able to- uh, A battle error occurred. Can there not be Dynamax Pokemon here? Oh, the fight begins again. Oopsie. And I have a water type against a Charmeleon. Pog. Um. Yeah, it's always on, like, the second turn of Dynamax. Just everything breaks. Or the third term? I don't know. Well, here, I think at least this time. Nope, yeah, it breaks whenever we have to end Dynamax. Oopsie, started the fight again. Uh, here, I'm just gonna go down and... I'm gonna see if I can, uh... Fix this after I... Just go through all this stuff. Jeez. Um. Oh, okay. I don't understand. Oh. How did I get down here? Well, yeah. I'll be right back after we figure out what's going on. Ooh, <sighs> boy. So, okay. Um. It seems that the battle is bugged. I don't really know why. I can't see any other uh, like forums about it on the internet. So what I am going to try is doing a bit of cheating. I don't really think it's that big of a problem. So I have to turn on cheats. Uh, I hate it. But I'd rather make it a good video. So if I get out the NPC editor, I can then fly out here. Yeah, so... Um, is there a way to make his Pokemon not Dynamax? Let's see, um, hmm, not that, how do I, here, I'm gonna pause real quick and fix the problem. I have no idea how to do it. I'll have to look into it. Okay, so my first try is going to be having changed his um, uh, AI to be default. Maybe he won't dyn- I, I, know, I know it'll make it easier, but maybe it'll cause him to not Dynamax and break everything. I doubt it, but it's worth a shot. Maybe I can kill his Dynamax Pokemon. Oh, there's the NPC editor, I guess I- Dropped it there when I chucked it. Don't need that. Okay. Right up there. And jump. Parkour is annoying because you have to, like, go on the glass panes to be able to make it easily. Here, well, let's try this again. Oop, I forgot to heal up my Pokemon. Ah! That hurt. That hurt, too. I should probably make sure I'm healed so I don't die of fall damage again. Oh boy. Well, uh, just got to heal up there. Great. Okay. Let's try this again. Hopefully this will be the last time. I mean, I really doubt that that's going to fix it. If that's the thing that fixes it, I'll be very surprised. But, um, I mean, maybe it'll make him not Dynamax. It's feasible that that'll happen. I don't know. It's worth an attempt, at least. Or maybe he'll do that thing he did with the Smoochum and just randomly not... I, I guess he switched out because I started out with the Helioptile. Like, if I had to make an assumption. 
But even then, like, I don't know. Well, let's try it. Okay, I guess I have to start battle with him now. Oh, I started with Solosis. Oopsie. Here, well, let's... Oh, wow. He is really ouching me. Oh, boy. Um, Psybeam. Okay, Solosis is down. Yeah, that was an accident, starting with Solosis. So this will be the turn it either breaks or works. Maybe because he fell through the floor? Oh! Wait. Yes, it- Okay, it didn't break this time. Okay. That's great. Um. Like, there's still- I still, like, lost some Pokemon by some subpar strategizing. I think maybe it's because he's running into the roof. Or maybe changing the AI is what fixed it. Um, but yeah, this wheel just healed some health. So it's confused, though. So now I hit it with the hypnosis. Okay, it fell asleep. Uh, now I can just start doing damage. Hit it with payback. Hit it with payback. And it's probably gonna wake up this turn, but it's confused anyways, so hit it with payback. Darn it. Ah, oh, it still hit me. Okay, uh, hypnosis. Great, okay. Kinda stinks that, like, two of the three strongest Pokemon I have for this fight. Or, I guess Gastly's also pretty strong. Even at low health. But yeah, they all died immediately to Dynamax feel. Because I have no Pokemon to Dynamax it to counter. But I... Guess that... So, if it works for... If it works again, then what I can do is probably just camp it out with Ghastly, like, even when it's Dynamaxed. So, Swine Up, Confuse It, Ow. Okay, send out Charmeleon. Ember. Darn it. Oh, it's not. I'm gonna... Whew, wasted a turn on Stealth Rocks. Okay, that's good. Okay, Swine Up's down. Smooch him. Okay, ah, oh, darn, it's gonna take three hits from that. Okay, but it, it didn't use a good move, turn one. Hit it with another ember. Oh, it had water pulse. Okay, I survived on one health. A battle error occurred. Okay, so here's what I'm gonna do. Uh, so... Can I, like, make an NPC? Here, I'm gonna make an NPC. I'm gonna keep all my Pokemon as they are right now. But I'm going to make an NPC with his, uh, Delibirds and Swinub that he had left. Or whatever it is, I'll check. And I'll make a copy outside, and hopefully that'll fix it. So, I'll be right back. Um, after I do that. So, I have done what I said I would do, and I made a copy of Corudo to at least make something come out of this horrible mess of a boss fight that I had to turn on cheats to complete. Ah, uh, okay, well, let's start out with Charmeleon, even though he's on one health. It'll be best to just get it over with. Um, so he starts out with a swine of, but I can, ooh, I very much almost one-shot it. Ooh, that's upsetting. Okay, um, Hmm. I'm probably- I probably might need to do a revive here. Uh, well, at the very least, I can- It's a ground type, so don't use a fly- Or wait, a flying- Ground can't be flying, not the other way around. Um, I'll just use bug bite, doesn't matter. Uh, hopefully I'm faster. Okay, I am. Thank goodness. Okay, so they're gonna be effective against me. So I guess I just use gust and- Ah, uh, okay, I just got sent to the shadow realm. Aaron, you're out. And sadly, I think you're going to be fodder, because I have to use a revive on Charmeleon. Here, hopefully you last for more than one turn. Okay, good. Wait, Solosis was revived? Why was Solosis revived? Huh, I guess it just worked on... That's weird. 
Here, well, I mean, then I can use a potion then on probably Charmeleon. Huh. I don't know why Solosis was revived too, but yeah, let's uh, just camp out a bit longer. Okay, now we have two more Pokemon to use against the Deli Birds. Uh, Metal Claw. Let's see. Okay, that'll do it. And then another Metal Claw from Aeron. Oh, Aeron level 19. Um, Roar is pretty useful. I think it's better than Harden. Here, um, Metal Claw. Oh dang, I didn't even need to revive him. I, the Deli Braids are weak. I, I know Deli Braids are weak Pokemon, but like, that weak? Okay, well, Aeron leveled up, even though Combi didn't. Well, let's just all forget this mess of an episode. Actually, first I gotta give myself the TM and, uh, badge from the boss. <laughs> so, uh, pause. Okay, so I got the Icicle badge and Avalanche. Let's just agree to never talk about this horrible, horrible town ever again. Oh, it's so bad. I hate it so much. Ugh, gosh. And I'm almost home. I had to walk a long way because my boat got, like, Thanos snapped out. I could have just made another one. My, my brain is square, or cube. Anyways, let's just finish off the walk home. Oh. I actually am running into trees. Um, any Pokemon? <laughs> oh, holy cow! Okay, Pachirisu. But is that? Oh, it's like a boss one. Yeah. yeah, yeah. So, I I mean, like, can I fight it? It's a Pachirisu, so it's pretty weak. I mean, I don't have any ground types on me, but I think I can fight it. Let's go for it. Aaron, come on. No. Come back. Aaron, we want to fight the Pachirisu. Oh, yeah, this thing's weak. Weak sauce Pachirisu. Ha. Huh. Oh, it braced itself. Uh, and the hit wasn't very effective here. Uh, just go for a headbutt then. This thing is weak. Um, it isn't- hasn't even used an attacking move yet. Um. Huh. That's- This is a really weak boss. Uh. Okay. Um, let's see. Okay. Another hit. And... Oh gosh. Yeah, this thing, literally, I don't think it knows any attacking moves. And if it does, why isn't it using them? This is the world's worst boss I've ever seen. What is the point? Um, oh, it had bide and it did no damage. What the heck? What is wrong with this boss? I'm literally... Here, let's take it out with, uh, Combi. And then maybe Combi will evolve. Yeah, I mean, I guess half of it is going to go to uh, Aeron, but it still might even be enough to get Combi to evolve. Yeah. I can see that happening. Here, we'll just keep going with the bug bites. And slowly but surely, we'll make it. Wow, this is just a Pixelmon how it was intended to be played. Uh, come on. Just die already. Uh, feel the pain of my bug bites. Uh, it actually did some damage. But, like, it took it, like, multiple turns to do that, and it never wants to do that. 
and there we go. Okay, so Combi did not level up, and I think I'll save that for the next episode. Ooh, what is that? Flame orb. Here, let's see. What does a flame orb do? Uh, flame orb, pixel mound. There we go, and. Okay, so this is like one of those things where like uh, you need to like switch out your it, it burns the Pokemon that holds it so you like switch out with another Pokemon and give it the flame orb and then it gets burnt. That was a really garbage reward for a really garbage boss fight. Do I have any food? Nope, I'm all out. Well, let's just <laughs> put some of our stuff away. Cut our losses from this painful, painful trip. Um, let's see. I can, I guess, hold on to the bag for now. I don't see a reason not to. Here, we can put that in there. Not the, not the bag, the badge. Oh my gosh, can't speak. Um, that would go in there. That, 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 that. Whoosh, whoosh. Bow, bow. Oh, uh, that would go in there. Store that, store that. I don't know why I have an antidote on me. I'll go put that in the thing. Uh, oh, I do have a food. Oh, yeah, I need the pickaxe. I can just craft one. Oh, uh, do I have any sticks? Yes. Okay. I had it in my inventory. I'm actually blind. Actually blind. Uh. Anyways. Let's see. Yeah, I just gotta put away that stuff. And then... Uh, I don't have space for it. Here, we can move the old rod. Or actually, no, I'll swap that out for some potions. Let's see, how long has this episode gone for? <laughs> uh, 22 minutes, okay. So I have some time. I guess we can make this like a really super crazy episode where I fight a gym leader, defeat a boss Pokemon, uh, and evolve two of my Pokemon, because we're going to go lov level up Combi real quick. Oh, I should probably heal him. Yeah, this is going to be a great thumbnail, for sure. <laughs> Although the episode itself is not good. Like, this was a painful episode. Essentially, all it was is uh, me fighting my way through a uh, messed up jungled boss. A uh, bungled, not jungled, jeez, can't speak. Boss fight. Um. Uh. And having to eventually just cheat to make it work. Um. Anyways, uh, Mareep. I should be able to take it out. Or wait, I just realized I'm flying type and it's electric type. Ooh, as long as I can get through the paralyzation, it's fine. Okay, whew, we did it. Combi is level 21. Drop those in. There we go. Combi is evolving. Oh, oh, oh. We got ourselves a Vespa Queen. And dang, yeah, that thing is tiny. But, ooh, that's a nice Pokemon. Uh, I can get rid of Struggle Bug. Oh, I can fly on Vespa Queen. I mean, it looks really weird because Vespa Queen is kind of human. But uh, yeah, I have a kind of more legitimate Pokemon that I can fly now. Uh, so I can fly around. I guess. I think that's fine. I mean, I kind of wanted to fly around on Charizard, but I guess Vespa Queen works too. <laughs> Aha, Zekrom, you're not the only one now. <sighs> Get good, Zekrom. Nobody likes you. <laughs> Loser. What is that? Oh, it, oh yeah, I can use Sweet Scent. To attract a Pokemon. Ooh, that's good. That's cool. Oh, I made a mistake. Actually, let's fight the thing. I, I know I'm paralyzed, but, uh, Let's see, how much damage does this do? 
darn it, I'm paralyzed. Um, here, just go for a bug bite since it'll get stabbed. I don't know if it'll be very effective. I forget if bug is effective against bug. Oh my gosh, just hit an attack. Yeah, that does good damage. Okay, that's nice. And then, now that it's an evolved Pokemon, we'll also get some stronger attacks as well. That's great. So cool, yeah, we got a new Pokemon. It's actually very nice. Um, here, let's go get out all our new friends. Hello, Miltank. Ow. Sorry, um, Vespa Queen. But yeah, that's really cool. We have a flying Pokemon now. Return to the ball. Okay, so here, let's heal up my Pokemon and get out the two new Pokemon that I got. Um, okay. There we go. So Flapple I can put away. Uh, hmm. I mean, I think I'm going to probably need to do a bit more leveling before I can swap in Flapple and such, but, uh, yeah. Oh, wow. I have lots of Pokemon to train up. I currently have, like, nine active team members, and I need two more to get most, if not all, of the types. So let's see. Let's meet them. Uh, Vespa Queen and Flapple. Flapple's a little tiny boy. Um, here, what can you find for me? Forage. Huh, nothing. Vespa Queen, are you better at, uh, wait, no, that's Flapple. Can Vespa Queen find something? Huh, well, whatever. Yep, those are the two new Pokemon I got. Vespa Queen is probably the cooler one, although Flapple will be powerful later on. Vespa Queen, I can fly now. So that's actually going to be really useful. And until I get Charizard, I'm going to be flying around on my Vespa Queen, no matter how ugly it looks. Um, I mean, like, wow, okay. So, like, I can... That's weird, though. Just being able to fly in Minecraft. Like, survival Minecraft is really powerful. Hello, Rogan and Larvitar. How are you guys doing? They're sure doing good. Okay, here, well, let's take a look at the current team in total. So, oopsie, there we go. We got Helioptile, Charmeleon, Ghastly, Vespa Queen, Flapple, Aeron, and then also imagine that Flap, not Huffle, uh, Solosis is here, and Totodile, and yeah, there's a lot of Pokemon that I can't have on me at once. But yeah, I mean, honestly, we're getting there. We're getting up some pretty cool Pokemon. We're moving towards um, we're moving towards a powerful team. So I will see you guys in the next episode. Please don't hate this video, but you probably do. Uh, it's fine. <laughs> it was a bad video. Well, bye. See you later.